Hi, this is Mike with Vinyl Couture, and today we're going to show you some neat tricks that I've developed over the year when making decals and cutting vinyl that's really going to help you not only be able to use these pattern vinyls with your commercial cutter, you'll also be able to cut out these awesome monograms that you'll be able to find in, in various locations on the internet, but they were really too difficult to make. Now you're going to be able to find an easy way to do it, and I'm going to show you how to do it in just a minute. So these are examples of uh, decals that were made with the ancient art of screen printing. This was long before digital printers, die cutters, or anything like that was available. But I had to develop a way to cut these decals and make them so that they would be cut into a shape. And I developed this technique, and I'm going to show it to you today. And uh, you can do this on your vinyl, you can do this on your heat press material, and you'll be able to cut out all kind of things, including scraps, you can cut out magnet pieces. Here's another example, it was cut out almost perfectly to that little border. Some that would be relatively easy to do today, but back then I had to develop a technique, and I'm going to show you that very shortly using some real inexpensive materials. It's easy to do. Okay, so the techniques to do this are really simple and really inexpensive. I bought this at Walmart. It's 43 cents. You may recognize it as something your children have used for school projects. You can use any thin, rigid substrate. By substrate, we mean material to do this with. Also, you'll need a common ballpoint pen with a little bit of tape. You can get that at Walmart as well. These are commercial pens that you can buy for these plotters. I know you can buy them for the silhouette. You can also use this. This will go in your knife holder and you will draw. I'm sure you've done that. If you haven't done it, you can certainly do it. And this can be used in the place of these expensive pens to draw on your items. So that's the first thing we need to see. So this is based on what's called the three-point registration system. Your cutter, believe it, not, believe it or not, has an amazing ability to cut over and over in the precise spot, but you have no way of putting your vinyl in to tell it that. So that's why you think I can't use a little piece like that or I have to throw that scrap out and use a big piece like this, but I'm going to show you a technique right now that's simple and will allow you to do all that simply and inexpensively. It starts with some little tabs. I'm just going to cut my piece of material that I bought at Walmart, same stuff. I'm going to cut it into little bitty places like this. You can use a scissors probably quicker. That's all you need. Three, maybe four of those. Next, you're going to get some simple adhesive tape. Anything will work. We're going to use yellow for clarity. And make these things right here. These are called registration marks. If you're a screen printer, you'll probably recognize this kind of stuff. If not, you might want to go look it up on Wiki. Here's another one. We're going to make three of these. Okay, we've got our tabs. Now we're going to go to our cutter. Okay, so here we're at our commercial cutter, and it doesn't matter how big or small it is, this technique can certainly be adapted quite easily. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to get it put into our machine and where it will read the exact same location over and over. And we take our tabs that we had in step one and we just put them down basically like that, right up against the edge. But notice it's a little bit lower than where that sheet wants to stick out. This may take a little experimentation, but ultimately you'll get it. You just want to make sure that, that, that your tracking wheels are lined up with your material. And now this is the most important one. It goes right there on the side, right against your other corner. And it doesn't matter if you use your left corner or your right corner. It just has to be consistent. If you use your right corner over here, all your material has to be done and set down on your board the right material, uh, the right side as well. So we're going to clamp our, our material like normal and we go through an initialization process. All these machines are pretty much the same. So it's going to read the width of your material. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my knife out and I'm going to pull this back. 
and I'm going to put my high tech pen in that cost about 80 cents to make at the most. That's if I had to go buy it. And I'm just going to chuck it in and let it clamp down on that loosely. And I've, it'll take a little experimentation to get that size of that tape just right. You want it to not come out, but you got to have plenty of room so that it goes down and hits the material without hitting too low to the material to start with. All right, so we're going to use a uh, simple uh, circle font, and uh, this is the one that is most useful with these monograms. It's the one that I've seen most often used. So this is what we're going to cut, and I'll show you how to do this. First thing, cut it one time. Normally, it's going to cut it on your board. Set your cutter up for your forward cut, because this is pattern vinyl, and we want it to cut forward. If it was a backward cut, it would need to be flipped, of course. All right, so now your pen is going to draw your exact monogram out on this board so you can see exactly where it's going to be. And this is key in being able to position your vinyl, whether it's a scrap, doesn't matter if it's this big, this big, as big as your board is, you can put a piece of vinyl on here and repeat this cut. Don't believe me? Watch this. So now notice it's cutting exactly on top of the first image, and it'll do this over and over and over again. As long as you've initialized your cutter the right way and place it into these three corner registration systems, you'll be able to cut this exact image over and over and put it where you want it. This becomes important now because you can use large scraps, you can use small pieces, and you can use pattern vinyl and put images exactly where you want them. And we're going to demonstrate that right now with these cool flag bottles. Okay, so what we're going to do, and this is very popular, never a week goes by, people don't call up and ask about flag vinyl. So this is where this is very useful and why I'm showing you this technique today. This circle monogram font is going to be available. Uh, you can download it all over the place. I'm going to have the, the SDG outlines available on my website for every letter and you know it comes in either one of the three different initials that you'll use. But let's just for, for uh, demonstration purposes, we're going to use this largest flag. This is going to be like for the back of somebody's car window. First thing, you're going to get a 12 by 36 sheet depending on which size you order of these you'll notice you're getting a lot of them. This one's got 21 on it. This one's only got three. They're always available in a 12 by 36 if it's sticky vinyl, and they're 12 by 24 if they're the heat press vinyl. So here we're going to just cut one of these off of here, and we're going to show you how to use it. Now, the whole trick of this is that we want to position that right in the middle you can probably see what I'm doing now. And this is, see, this star, this stripe's much bigger. You want to be able to have the flexibility to move this back and forth and up and down, but you want that to come out in your initial that's right in the middle. So this is what is very difficult to do. All you do, take a little bit of tape, tape your corners down real good because you know it's going to move around when you're running it back and forth on your cutter. So I'm going to make sure all the edges are put down real firmly. Takes a few minutes to do this, but if you're using scrap vinyl, you're going to save a tremendous amount of money on buying things that you've got laying around anyway and thought weren't big enough to run through your commercial cutter. All right, we're going to change this back to our knife, and this is how we put this back. Notice I've taped, we showed how we taped our vinyl onto our substrate board. And now we're going to put it right back into those exact same stops, and we're going to initialize it again. So now, of course, it's cutting the vinyl out. Hopefully, it's going to cut it right where we want it. I'm thinking it will. Now you can think of so many uses for doing this, I can't even possibly explain them all. Uh, but this will help you cut magnet pieces out. You can do all kind of cutting on printed items. You can see that it cut that perfectly. Now I'm going to go weed it. So now we're just going to weed it off the background. This is 
typical vinyl 101. It takes a minute, but you can certainly save the money that it'll take you in time by not having to make all that uh, purchasing uh, vinyl rolls when you've already got scraps of colors that you could use. So there you have it. Now that'll go on the back of your window of your vehicle. You could put that on a, a window or you could put it on a mirror. Uh, if you're doing heat press, you certainly could use it for the front of a shirt. I've got that product as well. This is an easy technique that you can use in your commercial vinyl cutter to now use all these smaller pieces of vinyl that you thought were useless. Thanks for watching our video. This is Mike with Vinyl Couture. We appreciate you watching.